Hi, Neil. Uh, I have your bullhead here. Um, I apologize that it has taken me so long to get your filmed evaluation going. It's just, I've been so busy. It, like, it's been crazy. I've actually, I've had to stop taking work because I've had so much coming in. I'll start again once I clear the backlog, but it's been kind of nuts. Okay, your watch. Uh, let's talk about the things. You had asked about a number of things, and I guess let's talk about the things. In terms of your case, it has been reworked, but as you said, really only slightly. For the most part, the case lines are good. The only place I see where the case lines are really blurred is going to be... There we go. It's going to be right here is the, where this sharp edge is kind of missing. Um, I could talk to my case guy and see if he is willing to do this. The one thing is, is I think he's overwhelmed as well, and I don't know how much more work he is taking. Um, your case isn't bad. Overall, it's not bad. The watch has been the subject of a restoration of kind, of sorts. Thankfully... The stuff that's really important on your watch was never touched. But the person who did the work wasn't 100% careful. But thankfully, your hands and your dial are completely original. Original loom, beautiful. Really, really nice. It's an original insert. has a little bit of wear. But as you can see, as you noticed, they weren't entirely sure how to put that back correctly. So that's kind of a problem. That needs to be snapped back in the correct place. These pushers are for another... 6138. They're specifically for uh, a model called a Yachtman. Um, I can look to see uh, the availability of the smooth-sided round-top pushers that are supposed to be here. I, I don't believe I have a set. I think I sold my last set a while ago. Um, but they may well be available. If not, I mean, these are 6138 pushers. I mean, they're not 100% correct, but what are you going to do? Um, your bracelet very interesting. I didn't know that this existed. Um, and I, I, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm fairly sure that this is a reproduction. I had no idea that someone was making the asymmetrical bracelets for these, but this is what's amazing about the bracelet. It looks like it's brand new and that got my suspicions up. Also, it's light and loose, even for a Seiko folded link bracelet. So this is lighter and looser even than that. And there isn't a bit of dirt or grime anywhere. It looks brand new. The giveaway is inside the fold, the text in the fold. It just says stainless steel. Uh, it should say stainless steel Japan Z or something on it. And it does not say that. Um, so the bracelet is a reproduction. But what's amazing is I didn't know that reproductions existed for these. Um, so that's really interesting. So overall, your watch is good. It has been the focus of a restoration to bring it to being saleable. And it was cleaned up on the outside. It probably was missing the bracelet. They put an aftermarket bracelet on it. They put the, the best buttons they could find into it. And then they sold it off. You also got kind of lucky on the movement. This ain't bad. I mean, it's running at 203 with some beat error. 207 now. This ain't bad. It's really not bad. I mean, if this were my watch, I mean, the numbers are a little low. But seriously, if this were my watch, I, well, because I don't wear one watch for very often anyway, but for all intents and purposes, um, I mean, it's running decently. I'd probably adjust it, but I wouldn't service it. It's running 207, 209. Uh, I have not opened your watch up, however, to verify it. And I will say that the, one of these watches in good condition is going to run higher than this. It should run in the 225, 230 range. This is a little low, but it's not bad. It's really not. So it, it's really, it's up to you whether you want to, you know, incur the $300 expense to service the movement. Um, I mean, 212, 216, 217. Like I said, if you run this one, if you're wearing it a lot, it may be, you know, watches like to be worn. Machines like to run. They don't like to sit around. It bothers them. Um, like I said, if this was my...